if I die young, bury me in satin, lay me down on a bed of roses, sink me in the river at dawn, send me away with the words of a love song. Shine down on my mother. Why did I get another phone call today from school saying you'd been in a fight? Victor was picking on year seven. I had to help dad. What did you just say? Sorry, sir. Arms. Please, don't. I said arms. Last time it was four lashes, but apparently you haven't learned your lesson, so this time it's going to be five. If I die young, bury me in satin, lay me down. You better behave today, boy. We wouldn't have had six more to that arm, would we? You deaf boy? You were spoken to. Yes, sir. Good lad. Now get off to school. Wouldn't want you to be late again.
Have you heard from Chris? Why should I care if I have? I'm worried about him, Barry. He might have run off again. Better not have done, little bugger. I can't keep this up. I'm tired of running. I wake up afraid. Afraid that I'm gonna get punched or slapped or whipped with a belt. Every day I slog along. Left, right, left, right. All this and where am I going? This life means nothing. No one will care if I die. I refuse to crawl through this life when I'm not living at all. How? How what? How can this life be so bad that you'd want it to end? You wouldn't understand. Humour me. My father, he hurts me. And my stupid mother doesn't do anything. But as for you, be strong. Don't give up for your work will be rewarded. What? 2 Chronicles 15.7. It's one of the verses that gets me through the day. What does that even mean? It means have hope. Things will get better. There are people out there who can help you. They can help get you away. They can help you get help. Or if not, they can give you and your family help so that you can all heal together. Look, why don't you come away from there? We can come and get some food. Thank you. I told Jess everything that night, every incident I could remember with my father. It flowed out of me like a broken dam. It was nice to have someone to listen. Not someone that sat there and nodded, no, someone that genuinely listened. I was able to take all my pain and just let it out. That was the best conversation of my life. I was liberated from all that built up pain, and for the first time in a long time, I felt happy. In that time, I've thought about how I hurt you. Chris, I don't expect you to forgive me. But I am truly sorry. I'd go through hell and back if I could take that pain away from you. I forgive you. What? I've had a year to hate you and wish to never see you again. Our time here is precious and short. And I refuse to waste this gift of life hating people. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 12. Hatred stirs up conflict. But love covers over all wrongs. So I forgive you. Chris. I'll never ever hurt you again. I promise.